You used to have to ask for a Game Boy for Christmas. I want to play games on your cell phone. Oh, really? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Level Start Podcast, part of the Play Legit Network, your only source for gaming and real talk. I'm your host, T42. Every week, I should be here, unless otherwise noted. So, lots going on. There's been some interesting developments here in the room that I record this stuff in. There's no green screen this week due to some technical difficulties I was having with it. So, I just said, screw it. Not this week. I just want to get the episode out, get the content to you guys, and wait for perfection to just, you know, come together next time. Anyway, moving right along, though, let's just jump into what we know from the news from the past uh, week or so. Yeah, so Batman Arkham Knight has been pushed back to June of 2015. Now, this isn't really surprising to hear from a video game being pushed back. I know a lot of people are really excited about this one. Do you guys think it is worth the wait? Do you guys think that it's good that they're pushing it back? I think it's good any game decides to wait to put more content into polish it to make it better. I think this is a very good thing. So I, uh, I've i got high hopes for this. My expectation level is up here considering that the last Batman game really wasn't all that great. I'm really looking forward to this one. Speaking of something new, Intel has finally come out with their eight core processor that is affordable for people to buy. They did have a thousand dollar CPU, but that was kind of really out of the reach for most gamers just to go ahead and buy, at least those that don't want to be uh, hardcore but not as wealthy as some that might be able to pick that up. They do now have a significantly cheaper Core i7-5820K, which is um, definitely, definitely uh, more affordable. So, yeah, pretty exciting there. Go check that stuff out. So, yeah pretty cool. I don't know if you guys are into PC gaming or not, but for you PC gamers, there is that one. So, according to the ESPN boss, esports are not a sport. And I find this really interesting that he has made this um, statement saying that esports is not a sport, hinting at the fact that he doesn't think it's really going to be something to be put on their networks. I can uh, tend to disagree, considering that they have, like, the World Championship Poker Series stuff, like, they have poker tournaments on ESPN all the time. So, tell me, how is that really any different? I, I kind of think it's not. So, yeah, that's really kind of confusing to a lot of people. I... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about this. Whether or not it gets broadcast on national television is really whatever for me. I mean, we're always going to be able to stream these things from the internet. But, I mean, it would be kind of nice just to go into a local beat ups or whatever with some of your bros, have a few beers, be like, hey, can we have this one turn to ESPN blah, 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 so we can watch the Dota or League or CSGO or whatever it is that's playing and hang out with your bros. You know, at a pub, at a bar, somewhere. You know, it'd be kind of nice, kind of fun to do that, I would think. But, yeah. In other news, Dark Souls gets completed with a rock band guitar. That is right. If you head on over to PC Gamer's website, they have an article about this. And you can even watch. They have a link to the YouTube video of this guy playing Dark Souls with, uh, with a rock band guitar. So, yeah. Um... Good for him. I mean, that's great, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so, having fun with that. Having fun with that. Alright, so The Sims 4 is out. It is out, and people are playing The Sims 4, but if you pirate a copy of The Sims 4, you might run into some issues. Pirated copies are reporting to have issues with uh, being pixelated in the game as the game goes on. Usually you see the pixelation come in when like a sim goes into the shower to use the restroom or something. This makes the whole game get uh, pixelated in, in a very big way. So uh, note to those out there, don't pirate. Uh, there's supposedly a workaround out there for this and some people are claiming that I legitimately got it and I need help with this. So yeah, if you if you feel like you legitimately have an issue with this, there is a fix out there that you guys can get. 
So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to introduce you all to someone new who's going to be a little uh, bit more around on the Play Legit's website. Um, you guys can go check her out. Her name's Jess. She runs a web blog called Fit for Gaming. She has a Facebook page. Go check her out. Give her a like. Start following her. She does a lot of stuff, including um, workouts, uh, as, as being a gamer, how to stay fit, um, and so why don't I just roll this little video from her? So check out Jess from Fit for Gaming. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica from Fit for Gaming. I just want to give a quick introduction because I think you'll be seeing more of me soon. Fingers crossed. Um, I am a personal trainer and also um, a pretty big nerd. I love reading and Game of Thrones and all that good stuff. I love video games. Um, I've been playing them since I was about 10. Um, my favorites are World of Warcraft, Pokemon, the Final Fantasy genre, and Kingdom Hearts. And I have been um, involved in the fitness industry for about five years now as a personal trainer and then before that as an athletic trainer mostly working with football teams uh, if you guys want to know anything else about me feel free to um, check me out on fitforgaming.blogspot.com um, there's like a whole about me page that no one ever goes to check out um, or if you want to know when I'm gaming and reading and what I'm doing throughout the day, what I'm eating, what my workouts are, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at fit for gaming um, or check out my Facebook page where I post a lot of screenshots, which is fit for gaming on Facebook. Okay, well, I'll see you guys soon. All right, Jess, well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing more of your face and articles around our uh, our web pages so like i said guys she's got a facebook she's got a twitter she's got a website go check her stuff out give her a little follow i'm sure you will not be disappointed all right well that's going to be pretty much it for our show this week be sure to like comment subscribe on our stuff share with your friends send us out on twitter you know the routine as always i am t42 from play legit this has been level start take it easy guys